A Cypress PSOC op amp implemented from scratch. This is not a provided example. Buy this kit from Cypress. Mine cost $10 plus shipping another $10. The front side of the shipping container, and that's the back side. Buy some header pins and solder them on. This USB cable is necessary. Put it on a breadboard. Get familiar with the pin numbers. Eight GPIO pins in bank zero numbered 00 through 07. Eight GPIO pins in bank one numbered 10 through 17. VDD will be a little less than 5 volts. It's regulated from the USB 5 volt supply and it can be used to power external components. 8 GPIO pins in bank 2. 8 GPIO pins in bank 3. That's the PSOC. Many Cypress PSOCs exist, and it's important to identify the one you have. This is the one that I have. This is the programmer. It communicates with the computer to program the PSOC. 5 volts external power can be applied here instead of the 5 volt USB power supply. PSOC Creator on your computer. PSOC Creator is the IDE. Run the Update Manager frequently. This one is up to date. This intro video to Creator might be beneficial. A PSOC op amp is implemented manually to demonstrate many important features. Start PSOC Creator. Create a new project. Select an empty schematic. Select a directory for the project. Note these important files. Select the specific PSOC using Device Selector. Put a Cypress op amp on the top design. Double click the op amp. The name can be anything, but I changed it to op amp zero for a reason. High power was selected for no good reason. Open the data sheet. Op amp zero uses these dedicated pins, and op amp zero must be activated in the program using op amp zero start. Double-click here to create a Design 1 tab. Connect two analog pins. Pin assignments can be made manually or automatically. Automatic pin assignment is selected here. These are manually selected, which provide greater insight. External components can be added. Wires can be drawn. Comments or notes can be added. A problem may occur at this point involving the kit programmer. 
This is the Kit Programmer. A Kit Programmer version upgrade may be required. The next video, B46224, documents how to do it. Turn on the op amp in main.c. Note the new tab. This error message suggests building the project to generate the missing files. The building succeeded. Add the one command to main.c that will turn the op amp on. This line activates op amp zero. Build the design. Program or upload the program. And all of that was successful. That's the 1 volt input and the 2 volts output. 1 volt input, 2 volts output, inverting input, A Cypress PSOC analog op amp was implemented from scratch. This has generated confidence for building a magnetic levitation controller using four PSOC op amps. This will be documented in video 462.25.